Welcome back to Control, episode 46, I think. We're headed over into the Hadron Resonance Lab. This uh, doorway opened up. Doesn't look much like a doorway, though. What do you think it is? Hmm. Through here? You are coming through so strong. Darling, use this HRA to lock the door. I have to rip it off to get in. Are you sure? Okay, I'll be there. Hang on. So, I would have really enjoyed it if You're Coming Through So Strong was backed up by any kind of indication that she was, in fact, coming through so strong. This little glitter is not any stronger than usual. Not sure why we had to take off all four screw attachments. You probably only have to take off two, right? And then the lock I... just remains attached to the other one. I made it. Getting distracted, sorry. The hole in your room is a hole in you. You can't be we locked you into the hole in you! You have only spent it The only child of cop! Of a copy! Of a copy! No. Why did you... This was a mistake. So, the thing here is that we're having a big fight. We don't really know why, but we do know that red stands for the hiss. And, uh... If the hiss is here, then we're not uh, we're not friendlies. Um, there's something wrong with the situation. Maybe they're trying to uh, um, take over our buddy. Now, as you can see, there is very clearly a dot here, but you can't actually do anything with it with your powers. You've got to push it with your hands. I'm not sure why your hands are stronger than your other abilities. Or why you've got to hold this button down for 30 or 40 seconds. Get the fuck away. Well, that was very useful. So now we can just shoot these guys for a while. They don't appear to be actually shootable, are they? Yeah. They seem to be background characters. We probably can kill them, but it doesn't seem like there's any point to. We'll just keep doing this uh, conflict resolution system of very, very slowly leaning against these satellite dishes. Oh, I ran out of juice. Oh, for friggin' sake. There we go. You're supposed to actually um, take a little bit of care with that, but uh, if you're cheating, you can just kind of push your way through. There doesn't appear to be any kind of health meter or anything, so I don't know what those folks up there are accomplishing. I guess I'm supposed to just kind of inform us that, uh, you know, things are happening and we had better get on with it. The Okaisohedron is free! Looks like we got some more um, things to press X on, so let's go over and do that. So this room, I... This room doesn't have much to it. It's a combat room, and it's very clearly a combat room. Um, I don't feel that it is as iconic as a lot of the other combat rooms, uh, and I would really enjoy this if, uh, if the combat was a little bit more uh, scattered with, you know, other other things that we could be doing or thinking. I paid too much attention to the uh, one particular enemy that I was fighting and I got killed. Uh, I could have fought this battle 
without, you know, without having the camera on, and then just, you know, talked about what happened later. But I do want to show you some of how this game is actually played. And obviously I'm cheating, so I'm not playing it, you know, as well as you might expect. But, uh, you can see that there are some interesting ideas in this room. You've got all these dots, uh, red dots on those, on those satellite uh, relays up there. It really feels like we're struggling to get our friend out of um, a really strongly contained zone. Wow, they froze me in a cutscene so that I would get hit by someone's rocket, which took away more than half my health. <laughs> yeah. Uh, sorry, I was trying to say that this is a um, an, an interesting idea for a room, but visually, it's just an endless circle that slowly goes up. Um, maybe if it had been like a song sequence, like we were seeing uh, in the ashtray maze, something like that, something to give it a little bit more verve. But it's just kind of this tedious whack-a-mole. The explosives are getting much, much larger. That I backed away from that and I still got hit. What? How annoying. Um, So, uh, this is how the game feels to play. You don't really get to look at anything, there's not really any fun backdrops, because you're too busy just shooting endless hordes. That said, let's get our buddy out of here. Um, I do like how our buddy doesn't really look like anything even vaguely alive. It's an icosahedron with some holes in it and some clearly mechanical tubes coming out of the holes. I do like how that feels really alien. It's like that's not something that we would identify as a life form. And uh, I think that's probably a good choice. I would have liked to see that kind of um, diversity in the enemy selection, but uh, oh well. Did someone throw a satellite dish at me? What jerks. So here what we're doing is we're fighting against two of the annoying uh, jerk wads that have both shields and the shield power. Um, and it's supposed to be a really annoying and stupid fight, and it is. Where's the other guy? Ah, uh, he's almost impossible to kill. But if you knock him over the side, he'll die. Oh look, more enemies spawned in. You wouldn't want to make things too much fun. Sorry if I'm whining. Uh, so last episode, we got a really wonderful three frames per second out of it. Uh, and what that was is that I had been trying to record a video on game design, and I forgot to switch out um, the scene back to game recording. So in the end, I ended up uh, recording it as if it were an art program, and that's why the recording was so crappy. Fucking hell! Uh, in case you missed that, what happened is I held down R2 to grab something and throw it, and it 
didn't come, and it didn't come, and it didn't come. And then when it did come, I threw it and he dodged, so I grabbed another one, and it didn't come, and it didn't come, and it didn't come. And by the time it came, he had already recharged his dodge meter and he dodged that one too. So I once again grabbed something, and it didn't come. <laughs> I People who play this game straight really enjoy combat a lot more than I do. So now we're supposed to go reach our buddy. Let's see what that entails. Hmm. Hmm. I don't see any way up this particular tall thing. Aha. We gotta go around the back. It's really nice of the oldest house to give us pillars so that we can access Polaris. This is one of those things where it's like, it's clear that the oldest house is helping us. It would have been nice for that to be more explicit in-game. No. No. The poster comes down and there's nothing there. It's yeah. just the cell and death. I just wish that I could be I more wrong. emotionally affected by it. Anything there. Hello? I just didn't buy Hello? the emotional progression there? of that sequence. <laughs> Obviously, FMV scenes of a talented actress looking sad are not ineffective, it's just that they're not as effective as if the story had actually led to them in a way that I could buy. Not impressed. So this is the fake out ending. Oh no, the hiss took you over. Uh, and we're going to leave it here. Um, I can't even try and pretend that this fake out ending is the real ending. Uh, you can try and believe it if you'd like. Um, but the pacing was all wrong. Like you wouldn't, you wouldn't believe that that was how the game was supposed to end. Like a, a, a long, annoying fight, and then jumping towards a floating ball, and then the ball goes pop, and that's it. Now, obviously, it's fake out, and here you can see it, it faking us out. Um, but I don't want to uh, start the next episode. Um, I want to start the next episode at the beginning of the next sequence, so we're going to stop here, and I'll, I'll bring you back when we're done.